Okay, I'm going to show you how to install your injection pump on a Ford 601, 801, or four cylinder 2000 and 4000 diesel engine. And these procedures will probably also work for the industrial engine. On the engine, there's three points that we have to verify before we install the pump. The first thing that we want to verify is that number one is on top dead center compression stroke. Now you can verify this by making sure that both of these rockers are loose. If both rockers are loose, it's on compression stroke. If you have a timing mark showing at the window, which I'm going to show you here in a second, you're either on compression or exhaust. If this valve is tight, you're on exhaust stroke and you're 180 out. The next thing we need to verify is our timing mark. Now depending on what engine you have, this can be either 20 degrees for the 601 motor, the 144 cubic inch motor, or the 172s and probably 192, which mine's a 172, is going to be either 18 or 23. And what makes that determination is your pump. The original pumps were 18 degree. Well, if they have been rebuilt with replacement parts, you may have a 23 degree pump. And that's something you're going to have to know to make sure you do this correctly. However, it's pretty easy to figure it out. All those little tick marks right there on the flywheel are our timing marks. Now this flywheel is for the double stage clutch, so they may not be here. I know on the selecto speeds, they're actually on the front face, about right in here. So what you're going to do, once we get our rockers both loose, so we're on compression stroke, you're going to have to spin your engine over to set your timing. If you don't know what your pump is, I would suggest you start at 23. Because the motor is going to spin this way. So you're going to hit 23 before you hit 18. My pump is actually an 18 degree pump. So I currently have mine set at 18 degrees. I'm sure you're wondering, okay, well, how do I see that flywheel whenever the transmission's on? This hole. And if you look right there, there's a little bitty mark on this plate. That's your actual timing pointer, and that's where you need to line it up. So that's point number two on the engine to be sure that we install our injection pump correctly. Point number three is going to be our drive. There's a few things to note on this drive. The first thing you're going to note is how deep it's set into the block. Make sure it sets that deep. It's about a little over a quarter of an inch, probably closer to five sixteenths. That's fully seated. The next thing you're going to need to know is the orientation. As you can see, fully seated, this pump drive is almost horizontal. It's pointing towards the top of this stud and the bottom of this stud. So you need to have that correct as well. The next thing, and the, and the most important, is if you notice, this radius here is a lot smaller than this radius. The larger radius goes towards the engine because this is actually offset. So if you don't have this correct, your pump's going to be 180 out and your tractor will not run or your engine if it's an industrial engine. So those are the three points on the engine that have to be correct before you install your pump. Now on the pump itself, there's a little window here behind this little cover. There's a mark right here on this silver piece. That is one of our timing marks. This mark is stationary. This lower piece that's kind of brown will spin. That's what we're going to use to time this pump. So we'll have to spin it until our timing mark lines up. 
Now this other mark is liable to be really faint on your pump. I don't even know if you can see it on mine, but it is there. These marks, you line up. It doesn't matter if it's 18 or 23, line those marks up. When you go to install your pump into your block, you're actually going to have to physically twist the whole pump housing to line those marks back up. Once you line those marks up with it installed in the engine, your injection pump is in time, lock it down, and you don't have to touch it again. If you set your flywheel at 18 and you install your pump and it still does not line up and you cannot spin the pump to line it up, chances are you have a 23 degree pump. So if that's the case, just remove your pump from the engine and spin your crankshaft. And you can actually spin it backwards just a little bit because you're only moving five degrees. But just spin your motor backwards five degrees to 23. Then reinstall the pump and reline up the lines in the pump. And you'll be installed with a 23 degree pump. The two main things that you need to remember when installing your pump is, am I on TDC number one compression? And is my pump an 18 or a 23 degree pump? Other than that, mainly the 18 and 23, the steps are identical. And that's pretty much it. And once you get it on, you're going to have to go back and bleed your system. So I, I hope this helps everybody understand how you do this. It's not complicated. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them for you. And thanks for watching.